Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Karen in the side of the Christ, the side of the Messiah, the side of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God a higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Isaiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth, all over the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yeshua the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yeshua the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann, it is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name and nobody else pretending to be me. It's a wicked, dirty demon. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. Glory be to the Most High. And if I don't say the sinner's prayer, <coughs> sorry, please check the description box or the pinned comment section. You will find it there. All right. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters. Really, really, absolutely, absolutely appreciate it, brothers and sisters. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed to the channel. May Ahaya bless you and may this channel be the home of the prophetic for you. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you for those of you, beautiful beloveds in the most uh, Ahaya who have, um, <coughs> sorry. Who have blessed me through PayPal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button. Thank you so very, very much. It's been a real help to me, brothers and sisters. Your love offering, it really has for many years. Um, you know, and I give the most high, higher glory, honor, and praise for the kindness that some of you, brothers and sisters, have shown to me and shown to this channel. Higher, eternally bless you. Okay. All right. Also, I have a little fundraising going in the form of GoFundMe. You can check it out. It's in the description box or the pinned comment section. Have a look. Have a read. If you feel led to give, you can. If you don't want to give, it's absolutely fine. I still love you just the same. Nothing is changed on this channel. You won't hear me comment here and cursing and oh you haven't given no 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 everything everything remains the same uh, but if you feel led to give please do so check the description box or the pin comment section all right <clears throat> we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful messiah Isaiah the christ but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty antichrist daniel chapter 7 verse 25 is truth satan through the antichrist will seek to change time laws and seasons it will be given unto him brothers and sisters lawlessness is coming Yesiah says pray to be found what absolutely worthy to escape these wicked things coming upon the earth i believe he's talking about the woman in revelation 12 the woman in revelation 12 represents um the woman, she flees into the wilderness. The running into the wilderness represents the second, the great worldwide second exodus. And the woman, with the, she has the 12 stars on her head representing the 12 sons, the sea, the remnant of Jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery. That is a true Hebrew, Yeshaelites. Went through the transatlantic slavery and also scattered throughout the, throughout the parts, throughout parts of Africa. All right, but the most is going to regather his people. It is going to happen. Many people say, Sister Karen, not true, not true, not true. 1948, God went down into Europe and told the Europeans to go back to the homeland, um, Israel. It's not them. If you study, brothers and sisters, you'll find that Europe, well, Europeans are mainly from the Caucasus Mountain. That's why they're called Caucasians. That's why the name is given to them, because they're from the Caucasus Mountain, the Caucasian. So to say, you know, these wicked, dirty preachers are preaching and saying, oh, God, this and God, that 1948. It's not true. They're not the true people of the book. It's not them. And the true people of the book are the transatlantic slavers, all right, or ancestors. And we are the byproduct scattered um, throughout the four corners of the earth. The most that is going to rectify that. It really will. All right. After the second exodus, then the sixth seal opens up. That is Yesiah coming in the clouds of glory with power and majesty to pay everybody according to what their work was and what they did on this earth. All right. All right. So after that, um, 
So we have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near and a prophetic banner, We Are Near. Prophetic theme song goes like this. How now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now, hallelujah, yes, we are near and we can sing that song with Red confidence. Our brothers and sisters have two ministries one for the entire prophetic and one for the Hebrew Yashaelite. And this is um uh end time prophetic video. All right, hallelujah. All right, brothers and sisters, I quickly want to jump in here because um, a beautiful beloved in the most I sent me a link um, and says, This is a carrying, it is happening. Pink eye. Now I've done videos. I've done a few videos concerning um, the coming, uh, the coming pink eye, or they're gonna call it conjunctivitis. Haven't I? That's why the beloved could send that video because they're paying attention. All right, I'll show you. Um, so this is the video. I'll just show it to you. The screenshot. So that's the video I've done. You can see I've done it in when, yeah, 2021. 2021, I've done that video. Can you see that, brothers and sisters? This is very important. Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. I know who I serve. And sometimes when I do visions and prophecies, because the thing don't come out at the same time, it's like, oh, she's fake, she's false. She said that this is gonna happen. That is going to happen and nothing happened. 2021, three years ago, nearly. 21, 22, nearly two and a half years, nearly three years is going to be in um, October. I did that video. In the video, it's a vision the Lord showed me where I saw all over the world people, they call it pink eye or conjunctivitis, but it's basically the, the eye, they were bleeding were blood my god mm. this was not an isolated case brothers and sisters this was worldwide that the lord was showing me it's in every single country worldwide um where people were like i say hemorrhaging or bleeding through their eyes but also have the conjunctivitis that the infection the eye infection with it right so We've talked about that. Um, we've talked about that. We thought we talked about um, that the moonshot is going to cause a lot of problems, and they're going to blame it on all sort of stuff. <laughs> they're going to blame it on the sun, the moon, the plants, the animals, everybody. Right? They're going to blame it on. But you've got to wake up out of sleep and understand what is going on. Understanding the times of the season that we're living in. And that the wicked is clutching at straw. Because their time is coming to an end. They're not going to be wicked like this forever, my brothers and sisters. This is what you've got to understand. The wicked is not going to be wicked like this forever. It must come to an end. It has to come to an end. And there's another video that I did. This was April last year, a year ago. I did this video. Right, April last year, can you see that? Conjunctivitis, all right? Um, and that's 2023, I did that video. It's here, pink eye era, conjunctivitis to explode, which is gonna get worse. They, they will call it conjunctivitis or pink eye, but it's not. That's what they're gonna call it. So, an article came through yesterday, and the beloved says, Sister Karen, please read this, because this is something that is circulating. And it says, breaking news, full case details, release of H5N1, that's the bird flu business, right? H5N1, bird flu, which is found in animals, right? Um, bird flu, human infected, Detected in Texas, so over there in Babylon, U.S., a guy, and this man is a, um, 
is a farmer. He's a farmer and he's caught the bird flu, which don't really pass from animals to human, but this time it has. And it's interesting if he's taking the moonshot, really and truly, <laughs> if he's taking the moonshot, right? Um, they said that the patient, this guy, patient, presented with subconjunctival hemorrhage and right eye drainage with no other symptoms. So this thing affects the eyes, bleeding in the eyes and conjunctivitis infection it's a basically infection in the eyes hmm. if satan can blind you that's what he wants isn't it the eyes is the window to the soul right um let me quickly read this right so it's gonna he was in close contact with their cows indicating cattle to human transmission uh, he's been given medication um, was used for treatment over the following days um, resolution of conjunctivitis without respiratory symptoms um, no genetic markers were associated was associated to the guy, to the patient so they did a swab of the eye and it revealed that the virus belonged to Two, three, four, four B, which belong to the same H five N one clad. Um. So the virus belongs to bird, basically, but but the reason why it made the news is because it's not transmittable. I probably I think they were saying that he's the first case. Or something like that. Maybe other cases that have not been reported. But so far it was so bad. They had to put it in the CDC business. Right? Brothers and sisters. There's going to be infections. That is going to. Be mind blowing. That when you look at it. You say think. Oh my days. Oh sweet savior divine. This should not be happening to human beings. But there's so many things, brothers and sisters, in the atmosphere. There's so many things that you're doing to our animals. Some of our some of, some oops, it is, <laughs> I'm trying. Some of our animals are not pure because they're pumped with antibiotics and pumped with all sorts of things that's making our animals sick. And so, therefore, us as human beings. When we ingest that, when we eat that, we're in problems. But not only that, brothers and sisters, I do believe that the wicked is, is, is I do believe that the wicked is, is, is formulating a scapegoat plan so that when this conjunctivitis began to hit worldwide, according to the vision in 2021, that they will say, oh, okay, yes, we understand it's the you know it's the bird business that's going on or they caught it from the animals but what about people who have got no contact with, with chickens or birds or poultry or cattle have no contact with animals what they're gonna do they're gonna say oh have you got a dog <laughs> have you got a cat have you got a little bird in a cage anything to draw at claw straws just to get out to say that it's nothing to do with the moonshot C-19. And it's everything to do with that. Because now what's happening, brothers and sisters, some of these um, sorcery C-19 moonshot business is literally now breaking down in people's bodies. It's very, very slow. It's happening, but it's extremely slow. I always say to brothers and sisters, you need to go and stand on the earth. Stand on the earth, stand on the grass, become one with the earth, become one with um, a higher on the earth, so that he can, the earth has healing properties. The Bible says that the earth is higher and the fullness thereof, so everything that's in the earth is the most high. So I believe, and plus, a higher his foot is on the earth because that's his footstool, and anywhere his foot is, you don't know, right. There's healing. 
So if you've taken the moonshot C19, I encourage you to go stand on the earth, begin to pray, ask the Lord to heal you and to draw out the toxin. Don't wait to the last minute because right now people are running up and down and said, oh, all is well. I'm absolutely fine. Nothing in my system. But brothers and sisters, you have to understand that, you know, this thing is slow. And some people, um, you know, have not got the full blown dose. I was talking to somebody the other day, just a couple of days ago. And um, we're talking and I said to the person, uh, we're talking about the moonshot, the C-19. And he said to me that, yeah, he said, I've taken the moonshot, to be fair. He said, I absolutely regret it. They said they're taking it because I wanted to travel to the UK and they wouldn't let us in in 2020 or 2021 that when the height of the moonshot business right so they were saying oh, no and I needed to come because I had a job I got a job in Babylon UK so I had to come so um so he said I went for the first um dose and um he said I was fine but he said what he's found out is that and i've never heard it like this i've never heard it like this and he's probably you know people have a theory um of what the moonshot does the c19 moonshot does but um he says when you get the first dose of the moonshot he says that that is to it's basically give they have give they have given you the virus like literally um, the second dose, what did he say the second dose? He said the second dose was to, um, it's like to solidify the first dose of the virus. So basically to pump it up and then the booster business is to eventually make you sick. Oh my God. This, yeah. Well, that's his theory. <laughs> anyways not far off really and truly um i don't really think that they've injected the 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 voc inside of people but what i do know is that <clears throat> what they've injected inside of people is to change the dna is to get access to the innate system because it because the most star is like a veil when a higher created you he created you with a veil inside and that veil keeps you protected. So nothing really should go in and manipulate the DNA inside of us, really and truly. Simple as. But with the moonshot, the manipulation um, that's happening is, is of an evil entity. It's creature-like. Yes, you're going to have some form of side effects like, you know, blood clots here and there, soul and heart here and there, brain problems, muscle weaknesses and all sort of stuff. You're going to have that before the creature event um, start to take place because that is what Satan is heading for. That is it. It's a creature event, which are, we call it the zom zom, the zombie apocalypse. That is what Satan is literally heading for, brothers and sisters. And we've got to wake up. We've got to wake up and understand what is going on. God, this thing is real. I know sometimes I talk about the zombie apocalypse and you have people in the comment section say, oh, she's always on, on about the zombies and I haven't seen anything. Don't rush this thing. Do not rush this thing. I'm telling you, you stay in prayer because it is going to happen. The zombie apocalypse is real. There's no if, but, or maybe. It is 100% real. And it's going to take people like 9-11. Because nobody knew that 9-11 was going to happen. Because, you know, it's Babylon, US, isn't it? And everybody says, oh, well, you know, it's a strong country. And nothing can invade. And just like the plane invaded Babylon. Yes, they did it by themselves. It was all in-house. I don't believe it was anybody outside. It was all in house and they did it. And just like the plane invaded Babylon and hit them twin towers, it's the same thing with the moonshot 19. You know, it's going to invade the veil that the highest created in us. Because of spiritual wickedness in high places that we're working in. It's witchcraft. Absolutely, absolutely witchcraft. is occultic. People have to pray repent sincerely 
sincerely, sincerely repent for taking the moon shot. I am telling you. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. You have to repent. Because this thing is coming. There's no if, but, or maybe. It, it is going to happen. It's just a matter of time. And while we talk about it and we're saying that it's coming soon, and in yourself you think, oh, she's, yeah, yeah, it's not here yet. Give the most uh, a higher all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise because it's going to happen. You have to wake up. And this thing is real, brothers and sisters. But the conjunctivitis, they call it conjunctivitis. It's not conjunctivitis, and they call it bird flu. It's not bird flu, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you that this wicked thing is really stemming from the moonshot. Because you've got to understand, like I talk about the zombies, that the eyes, there's something with the eyes. There's a change in the eyes with the zombies. -zom. It's almost as if they're blind. That There's a white cloud business with a little bit of the, whether you have green or blue or brown eyes protruding, but it's not um, as um, prominent because a white shield or the white sheet, right, covers the eyes. But still, they still can see. Why? Because they're operating by the entity. A higher cannot lie. You showed it to me, the pink eye business, conjunctivitis, 2021. It's going to be worldwide. Sometimes you see these things happen, you see isolated cases. You see one and two cases here and there. But brothers and sisters, it's a wake-up call. So don't look at it and say, oh, it's just an isolated case. It's just over there. No, you don't look at it like that. Got to see things in the realm of the spirit. Because the spiritual realm is very, very real. Very, very real. Things happen in the realm of the spirit. And then it manifests in the natural. That is how it goes. That's the law. Really and truly, that is the law. But whatever is coming, brothers and sisters, is going to affect the eyes. So, be on your pews, on your cues in these end times. Listen, brothers and sisters, we're not going to talk about end times or the rest or the days of our lives. All right? There is happiness beyond, beyond this that we're looking at. <clears throat> all these perilous times, all these um, uh, beginning of sorrows, all these tribulations and great tribulations. It will come to an end, I promise you. And you will walk those pearly white gates. But we have to go through some stuff before we get there. Revelation, the book of Revelation has to be fulfilled. The Bible says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will stay. And all Ahaya requires of us is to learn to be observant. Learn to analyze the times and the seasons that we're in. Don't just look at things in the natural. Look at it, but take it away in the realm of the spirit. Understand what's going on in the spirit realm and you will be fine. All right, so be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch of the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high Ahaya. Who lives above the heavens, I, I eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Yesiah's holy name, amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy. To the only wise, Yesiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.